in today's video I'll be redoing Carly's Cage, or this is kind of like part two, I guess. Um, because I just did Yamaha's Cage and I filmed it. Oops, all this water. So, yeah. So, we're going to move it away, and you can see that this little heart is connected to it. I'm actually going to pull the heart out for now. It just pops out with this little knot that's on it. It's like you can barely even see it. This is Harley, so we're going to put this in Harley's tree area. He's got his own little tree container here. Just for him, the things he has started but has not finished. So probably he's actually sleeping. Who knows what he'll do when he wakes up. He might run around. He might just fall back asleep. Who knows? He's going to get a colorful tan this time because he had more of a natural, but I have had to switch some stuff out. So we're going to pull these out. And I do have a kebab, but I have not decided who it will go to yet. I think I'm going to give it to Harley right now. Because it does have some colorful choosy chews and stuff on it. But Yamaha seems very enthralled by it, so I might give it to Yamaha for a little bit and then take the chews off and give it to Harley. I haven't decided yet. So we'll just remove everything. I just usually hang the water bottle on the outside of the cage. He's got two food dishes. Which I gotta move my phone here. his nest. We try to keep a nest in there for the hammies. Um, Harley's not really a big fan of them, so I don't know if he'll be getting another one. So he's in his house right now. But when we're moving his house, Cliff, he just lays there he's asleep, sort of. Can't see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see my collection stuff. <laughs> so, just that. so the first thing I'm adding in is his wheel. Now Yamaha doesn't have a wheel quite yet because I have not had the time to go get my right size. And when I do go get it, they never have the right size. Put the wheel in. For now, we're gonna give him his igloo, but I think later on I'm going to switch it. he's got is of course his water bottle. I actually want his wheel for his house to look nice right now. Oops. His water bottle is going to go right there by his food dish. And he needs to fill in water. I'll do that in a minute. And I just have to waste his water bottle so they work well. I mean they leak as you can see. Um, but we are getting new water bottles hopefully quite soon. And I'm putting a little food dish right he here. Right by it. And then we're putting the other food dish right by it. Like that. We're going to add in some tubes and just build one here really fast. I just have a little tube I built he can run through. And yeah. That's really all Harley really gets because he's not a fan of chewing and stuff. Um, he only chew on one thing and I actually need to go buy more. I mean, I have a few. I actually gotta move him so I can put some stuff there. Come on, bud. There he is. So yeah, I mean, I think I 
had one that's partly chewed on. It's chewed on by him, I mean, so. Not a big deal. There he is. He's being cute. It is just a whimsy chew. don't know what all of his shoes are. You can see he's not using the tube. He's just going to bury it. As I'm digging through and finding things in here. So I can't find this right now. Um, but yeah, it's really all his cages. It's not much. Yeah. Typical hamster cage. So his does have a lot less because he's an older hamster. He just sleeps a lot, so yeah. Bye. Today I'll be showing you the fruit veg I give my hamsters. So these are the two bowls I use. This is the dwarf's bowl, and it's just got a few grapes on it. Mainly I use this because he is a lot older and he does not like to climb inside this anymore. And then here's all the veg. I totally feed them. So yeah. So I'm just gonna take the lid to the dwarf hamster food. Put it on top of there. So this is a total of what I give them. So because this is Syrian's first time ever having stuff, I am giving him just a teeny tiny bit of apple. Um, a small slice of carrot. Um, a small piece of orange cheese. And then a small piece dot. and a small piece of sorry white cheese so and then Harley oh and then a small piece of cabbage as well and it's like the teeniest piece of cabbage ever because you don't want to give him too much and plus it is his first time ever having cabbage so Harley as well gets a teeny tiny bit of cabbage. Um, he's never really been the biggest fan of cabbage. Um, he'll eat just a little tiny square of it. Um, a piece of carrot. He is a fan of carrot, but I still don't want to give him a whole lot of it. Um, he loves cheese. So he gets a good piece of cheese, but it still is it's quite thin, so it's not a whole lot. He gets a piece of orange as well as white. And, yeah. So we have some romaine lettuce here. And these are just small slivers of romaine lettuce. You can see I've got a few pieces of that. This is my romaine lettuce that I got for the hamsters. And I just peel it apart here. I try to give Harley a good amount because he does quite like lettuce. Young Haas is going to be in teeny tiny pieces. Here, let's put this one in half. So yeah, you can see it for the romaine lettuce, Harley has quite a bit, but he won't eat it all. And then Yamaha does not have quite as much. Um, then we have a piece of, um, this is like, this is romaine lettuce that has not fully grown yet. So we just rip that in half. Oh. Harley's going to get the bigger piece, and Yamaha's going to get a small one. We have a few of those. And then we just have a few pieces of random lettuce. that I just break a little bit of it in here. 
and then I'll get the rest of Yamaha. And then just so this is just for Yamaha. So he doesn't get this. No, huh? I'll get the pinch of seed in his. So he will eat a little bit of seed. Um, I do add a few oats in there as well. I pick out oats because he loves oats. Like a lot of hamsters, which really, a lot of hamsters don't really like oats. He's not picky. He's only picky with his seeds. Probably will get some seeds in his too. But not as many. So, yeah. Oops. So, I'll film putting these in the hamster cages. So we'll do Harley's first because Harley has had veggies before and he knows how this works. So let me just, I'll cut to the next clip. Okay, so now we're just going to give Harley his food. You can see he's got some new chews in here from when I filmed how to do this cage. You can see he's right back here, so I'm just... Maybe. Oh, there we go. He sees it. There we go. He's gonna find the cheese first, probably. Oh no, he's picking up seeds. So he is super cute when he's eating his vegetables. Eventually, Yamaha will have about that much vegetable too. And Yamaha will have fruit. Um, Harley will never have fruit. Um, he gets a teeny. Oh, okay, I missed up his lid. But he gets a teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of um, papaya once every two months. So he's only had it six times in his life. He actually should get another piece in about a week. So, so then this is the <laughs> this is the Yamaha's cage. He's kind of sleeping back there. So let me just, just do this real fast. So I think I'm doing it really. I can't tell. He's Yamaha. You never know. Oh, yeah, he's awake. So let me just remove his house here so he sees it. So there's Yamaha. Uh -huh. um, he'll sniff out of the bowl. There we go, he found it. So yeah, that's what the hamsters got. They're both eating veg now, so bye. Get some good pictures on Instagram.